Hi, I'm Jamie Georgie with the Monkey Flower Group. We're a florist here in Napa using only local and pesticide-free flowers. And I'm here in my garden in Napa um, to share a few tips about how I like to keep my garden um, for enjoyment as a garden outdoors and also to have or cut flowers indoors or wherever you choose to have your cut flowers with as little water and as wor little work as possible. Uh, so as you can see, I've got a lot of repeating plants here. I feel like that makes a good impact. And if it's good for the vase, it's nice to have a lot of options to cut from, um, you know, so you're not just wiping out one plant. Um, I also like to have plants that have a really long harvest stage so that you can enjoy them in the garden before you cut them to bring them inside. So for example, this Flomus has been doing its thing, looking kind of nice. I think uh, for a while, but I might decide I want to cut it and the top whorls are still opening. So they have a really good vase life left and I can cut it down here as I've already done with some stems and not really impact the appearance of the bush itself. Um, so long harvest stage is really nice. Um, another thing I like to have are readily reseeding annuals. Um, like obviously the California poppy is um, well suited to reseed itself here. It fills in. I don't use it as a cut flower because I don't like to encourage people to cut it, but maybe just in your own house, um, just be aware that it does close at night. So um, it's best for the daytime inside for your own home, not for public display. Um, I also have this beautiful Lunaria, which um, I'm not sure is in the frame, but it is a purple flower. And once it has done its thing as a flower, the seed pod um, is a very beautiful, magical, silvery color um, that looks good in the vase as well and also reseeds itself. So you get all the benefit of a readily reseeding annual, but also get to enjoy something beautiful from the plant indoors. Um, the nigella here, which you probably can't see, is also a good example of that kind of annual that has a long harvest stage. Um, well, not so much for each stage, but the flower you can pick and it's beautiful inside and long lasting. If you miss the flower, uh, it forms a beautiful seed pod that is like a balloon with stripes on it. It's very decorative um, that you can also enjoy in the vase. And if you even miss that, which can happen because life is busy, um, it will reseed itself and then you have another go at it next year. Um, so those readily reseeding annuals are just great for making the garden look abundant and beautiful, but also giving you lots to work with in the vase with very little input, especially if you have well-suited um, annuals like California natives for the garden. Um, another important thing I like to have are dual purpose plants that look good in the garden for one feature, like the silver bush lupins flowers are just gorgeous, um, but they don't hold up too well in the vase, which kind of saves me from <laughs> clear cutting them. Um, I might be tempted, but I don't, and I get to enjoy them in the garden. And then it's still very useful for cut flowers, flowers, because the foliage is called silver bush lupin and it is truly silvery, just glistening, beautiful foliage that's almost like a focal flower itself. So you can use that actually when there's not too much ha happening, not as much happening in the winter time. Um, and it looks beautiful with other California natives that are starting to bloom in the winter time, like um, manzanita. It's a little urn shaped bell flower. Um, with a little bit of pink blush and with the silver bush loop and it's really beautiful. Um, so this is a really great plant. As you can see, I'm, it's kind of past its prime, but I let it go to seed, which is not for everyone. I, I'm a little bit of a messy gardener, but I love that it will reseed itself. It's California native, it's really well suited to this climate. Even in our drought year, we've had um, a lot of the seedlings from last year survive. Um, and it's a perennial also, so you have a readily receding perennial. It's just a very great um, resource to cut from. And the bees love it. The bumblebees here are just kind of going nuts. Um, so that's a great plant. Um, I think that about covers my main tips, readily receding annuals, long harvest stage, and dual purpose flowers. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed the talk and the garden and thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.